Okay, so let us start at the beginning. This is how we do Clavio audits here at Magnet Monster. So I'm going to start off with the first area of consideration, which is email deliverability. It is the very first part of an account that we start analyzing to see if we can find some issues. So I'm going to jump in and out of different tools, different brands. I'm not just going to focus this one audit on a particular brand. I want to show you some variation within it. You will, of course, probably focus it on one single client or one single account, and you'll be able to learn a lot from, from this walkthrough here. So let's start from the top here, okay? First of all, we want to look at your client or your sending infrastructure. It can get a little bit technical in this area, but the very first thing that you want to confirm is, are you sending from a dedicated, dedicated sending domain or are you sending via a shared IP pool and so on? The preferred option is to go with a dedicated sending domain because then you've got a lot more control over your sending reputation. So there's a couple of ways to, to look for this particular setup. Firstly, sign up to your newsletter, okay? And then once you receive emails from the brand, you can click on it and you can actually, if you click on this little drop down arrow here in Gmail, you can look at the sending infrastructure here. So I can see here it's been sent, signed by carve.com, mailed by send.carve.com. And I can clearly see here that they are sending through a dedicated sending domain. They're sending through their own domain here. So that's good. If I look at the next one, for instance, I can see here there's an email being sent through from Shopify email. So signed by shopifyemail.com. So they're not sending from their own dedicated sending domain. So of course, yeah, they would ideally want to switch over to the dedicated sending domain. Same here. Email received from Clavio. You can clearly see there signed by claviomail.com and so on. This is a clear indication that they haven't set up their dedicated sending domain. Now, it is definitely beneficial to have it set up just because, again, if they, if you've got a share, if you're sending from a shared IP pool, there are a likelihood of um, other senders affecting the reputation of that IP pool. So that's one way to check for it. Okay, the other way is to check within the actual Clavio account. So yeah, you can clearly see backend um, carved. They've set it up clearly within the Clavio account under the settings configuration. So that's all good. If you look at the next brand here, I will just hide the brand just for privacy reasons. You can see that it's also getting flagged by Clavio directly. And you can see under the domain configurations there, they haven't set up a branded sending domain as their dedicated sending um, domain. So of course here yeah, they would want to switch over to that. So just for video's sake, I will mark this one as let's say zero. It's not set up correctly. And yeah, we usually just note things down, not set up correctly. Okay. Okay. You then want to move over to, you know, checking the or analyzing the health or the setup of your sending domain. Okay. DMARC, DKIM, SPF, all these different policies, sender policies that you want to obviously have set up correctly. And then BIM is also there for message identification. It just identifies trust signals and so on. So if I select, if I quickly do a scan, our favorite tool of use is Easy DMARC. You can add in the sending domain. I've added in Dira Drive, for instance, and you can see it's scoring in seven, seven, seven out of 10. DMARC is average setup, SPF correctly, DKIM, B, BIMI, all in the greens here. So you can use a tool like this just to check for that. They also do spit out um, the suggestions there. Did I complete this one as well? Let me check here. Uh, yep. Um, this one was checked for, I can't remember which domain. I think it was Olipop. You can again see there's some issues like, for instance, 
If you click on that, you can see BIMI status for Olipop, BIMI record not detected. So you can clearly see, you know, the issues at hand here. So lovely tool, Easy DMARC. They've got a great tool to scan your sending domain. Okay, let me just, you can then go ahead and mark these ones. Let's say we mark them as 50, 50, 50, and let's say this is completely missing. Of course, you can just add in the findings and stuff, yeah. The next section is looking at performance insights within the ESP. You want to look at unsubscribe rate, bounce rate, spam complaint rate. So I'll just quickly highlight some of this. Again, I'm hiding the brand for privacy purposes. So bounce rate here, you can see bounce rate is pretty average here. You can look at the benchmark there, 1%, way below the average benchmark. This is over a period of the last 90 days. So you can see it's very safe. Um, and then there's a big spike here, Apple 2.69. Let me just move my face here. 2.69, there's been a bit of a bounce here. It could have been because of a blast campaign sent. So they would want to clean up their email list, for instance, or they want to segment correctly because um, you do want to exclude hard bounces from your, your targeting. Um, I do know that Clavio also takes care of um, cleaning out lists, suppressing them if there's a lot of bounces being occurred. Unsubscribe rate, you can see there, you of course want to aim for, you know, a low enough unsubscribe rate. You can see for this particular brand, it's healthy. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. That's kind of the, the average range we see um, for D2C brands. Spam complaint rate, you want to keep this one, again, as low as possible, below 0.3%, I believe. And you can see uh, spam complaint rate is pretty fine. So this brand is doing pretty well in this area. So I'll mark them unsubscribe rate. It's healthy. Of course, 75, you can always be better. Bounce rate, there's some spike. Spam complaint rate is actually well. And you can just add in your little notes here, and so on. Right, so next one is email verification and email list hygiene. Now, because of this particular bounce, something has happened here. Is it a soft bounce? Is it a hard bounce? Is it a hard bounce because the email address is not valid? There's a couple of invalid email addresses. Now, of course, you want to send emails to a clean list just because a lot of bounces might signal to the ISPs out there, the Googles, the Yahoo's, that you are sending emails to uh, an email list that you've potentially purchased. Um, there's a couple of tools out there that you can use to, to run an email verification process. You've got email list verify, sign up for an account, you export your database, the email addresses, upload it. They then use their scanning um, tool or engineering side to kind of pick up on you can see in the screenshot here, yeah, they will then tell you out of 400 emails, 355 are valid, 5 are invalid, 10 are, have has the potential to see you end up in spam traps and so on. This, some of them are disposable emails. Those ones you want to, of course, suppress within your ESP, or just remove them entirely. There's email is verify, zero bounce is also there. They will also give you a score on your email database. And there's also a never bounce. They all accomplish something similar. So let's say you've done your big scan. You'll basically mark it, yeah, 75%. And then um, you'll also look for if the client or you have a, a regular email list hygiene cleaning step in your process. Have you connected your ESP to one of these platforms, perhaps? Is there a process around it? Have you set up a, a system within Clavio or your other ESP to constantly suppress and clean your emails and so on? If you've got something in place, brilliant. Then once again, you'll make your notes here. All great. IP domain reputation. So there's a couple of ways in which you can do this. You can set up Google Postmaster tools to, of course, Regu uh, regularly monitor your sending reputation or you can use a set of free tools out there so i've i've listed a couple of them here um for instance let me this one yeah easy dmark ip domain reputation check i'm just checking on pet relief there's no 
this thing here, it seems to be a, a clean sending domain. I've used zero bounce here, zero dry, IP domain blacklist checker. There's nothing being blacklisted here, you can see there. No blacklists, manage an engine, site 24 times 7. Again, not picking up on any blacklist instances. You can even use MX Toolbox. Again, checking calf.com as a sending domain. It looks like it's spam free. That's on checking for spam listing. This one, yeah. Okay. So let's say this is in the clear. There's no problem. You'll make a little note here. And then this one you need to set up for your client. There's obviously a link to um, the how to documentation. Set it up and then monitor that once you have the data. Of course, you'll add it in here and you'll add in your notes. Lastly is looking at legal requirements. For some brands, it's critical to, for can spam in the USA, you want a clear unsubscribe link within your emails. When, when it's GDPR, you also want to ensure that you have that tackled. So if I go to some of these, let's say Drunk Elephant, for instance, if I scroll down, I can clearly see there's an unsubscribe link here. They do have the physical, um, you know, address within the footer. So they actually pass it. So I'll mark that with 100%. Add your notes in here, all set up and correct, for instance. That basically concludes email deliverability. So you can see this particular sheet that we are using, and the, we will link out to a free copy of this so you can get your own version. You can see the email deliverability for this particular, let's call it brand, 79%, um, so it looks to be very healthy. Everything seems healthy except for like the sending infrastructure has a lot of work. If they can fix this, it will take them to the next level. Um, we also pull it through to this main little summary graph score thing. Yeah, you can see there's 79%. And of course, we want to aim for 90% within the next three months or so. And that's email deliverability as the first starting point for this email uh, health score. Clavio audit series.